Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. You need to be extremely careful now. When I started the reading, the card that was at the bottom of the deck was the Justice card. The Hierophant is here now. You guys right now, I want you to be very careful of who you're listening to, what you're listening to, and so forth. There are people right now who I, I feel strongly who know that some people are, you embody that divine, feminine, masculine energy, that high priest, high priestess type of energy. People are using energy manipulation and alchemy to try and like lure you back into them. Sometimes it's not even something that is done um, deliberately by some people, but this is what's happening. I feel that a lot of the illusions that are being um, like stripped away from a lot of people right now have a lot to do with the past. Um, childhood for some of you you're thinking about your first love you're thinking about your first heartbreak you're you're really really reflecting on love because we're in the year of the number seven where it's supposed to be for movement you're supposed to be going into your divine life like f being fully immersed into your life purpose um certain partnerships so you have these cycles that are closing out but this moon is a lot about permanent endings so you may feel a lot of really intense emotions right now but I want you guys to know that there's a darker side to this, okay? That you can transmute the energy because it is negative. Some of you have people who are purposely thinking about you nonstop because they are extremely regretful. But you have some people who know that you're an empath, I feel, and they're playing on the fact that, that they know you're an empath. Some people are purposely sitting down and they're thinking about you nonstop because they know that it's going to trigger you. I don't know who this message is for, but I feel that strongly. Someone knows that you're an empath and it, 333 on the, on the clock. If they sit down and think about you long enough or think about your past, they look at the old pictures, memories or whatever. They're trying to lure you in by doing that. Some of you need to know your emotions and your thoughts right now. They don't belong to you. It's being projected by someone else. And you have to be very careful because for some of you, you're already in a new cycle. There's new energy, new relationships, friendships, opportunities around you. And you're going to find yourself really sinking into an energy of thinking about the past where the past is, is going to haunt you. It's, it's like nostalgia overload. Like so, somebody is projecting this energy. This, uh, this woke me up out of my sleep. And then the camera cut off. So it, it's a lot that's happening energetically, especially over in the night. I'm, I'm feeling strongly that this is for sure some type of moon magic or ritual that's happening. Um, Getting into the cards, the page of cups, the three of pentacles, four cards fell out first together. And it was the page of cups. The Three of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Swords. These cards just fell out of the deck when I when this happened before. The Page of Cups for a lot of you, if you notice, and this is the after Tarot deck. I woke up out of my out of my sleep two o'clock in the morning, and I saw this deck in my head, and I just felt the need to get up. Okay, um, this there there's an offer here that has been a missed opportunity. This fish is out of the cup, so you guys could have a person right now. Um. First of all, I'm picking up a couple or I'm picking up someone in your energy that is already in another relationship. But there, there is a third party situation here. I do feel you have two threes here. The six of cups. This is a past situation that is resurfacing or someone wants to resurface or someone just wants to torment you um, because they can't come towards you. I feel like you're rejecting someone's offer. To be honest with you, someone, you're rejecting their offer. You don't want to, you don't need to hear an apology. You don't care to get an apology. You're moving forward. This was someone that you definitely could have had a partnership um, or collaboration with in the past. Now, keep in mind, for some of you, this does not have to be romantic. This could be a friend. It could be a family member. This is someone you could have had a business with in the past. Somebody feels very bad for letting you get away or for how they treated you. It's haunting them. It's haunting them, and now it's it's being projected onto you, okay? This heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment, or whatever, their pain is, is causing you some type of dissatisfaction, disharmony, um, 
in your life at this point because someone here is is holding on to the pain of what happened in the past and what happened in the past is this person refused to actually invest in something with you this could have been something financial if this was someone that you were dating or had a relationship with someone here was just not willing to make changes to be in a connection with you they were not willing to to be there for you to show up this person didn't want to master themselves to be in a connection with you perhaps okay for some of you this could be your energy you may not have wanted to do something in the past and it could be bothering you now that you didn't take a leap of faith i feel like regret is something that could easily get the best of a lot of people myself included mercury retrograde is going to make you go backwards and think about things cancer for the full moon here in cancer emotional overload but you're gonna really have to take control of this whatever has happened it has happened whatever was a part of your history it doesn't mean that it's a part of your destiny and you, you're gonna have to let it go because it this past energy here it's a burden that's being carried and it's like spirit is saying you really need to ask and pray for like a clean slate like completely purge your soul because there's this energy here that's festering and I feel like it's between you and other people that are in your life from your past. So it's like a, I'm saying like in the cosmos, like your energy and somebody else's energy, it's, it's colliding and causing a lot of just disharmony, um, energetically because it's like you and someone are fighting energetically for some of you this could be a soulmate or someone that you consider like a twin flame that could be a karmic past life soulmate you and someone spiritually it feels like you're trying to speak your peace like you have regrets about the past but you have to move forward all right now for some of you this is causing a real issue because there's a third party situation some the the hierophant is here with the queen of wands and here is the devil card the seven of cups here someone here there was a third party that has gotten in the way of a connection where some two people were supposed to come together for life purpose journey whatever this is being revealed right now seven of swords five of pentacles the moon Somebody wanted to win by any means necessary. This could have been someone that you were connected to, or this could have been the person that the person you could have been connected to is dealing with. Someone here was willing to do whatever it took, I feel, to completely sabotage a connection here that had a lot of potential. Somebody could have cheated you out of a job. Someone could have cheated, cheated you out of an opportunity, out of a, re a relationship. But there was something here that definitely had great potential that could have worked. And there was a third party here. They came in and it interfered. Okay. And I feel like whoever allowed this to happen, they're seeing, they went against their better judgment when they allowed this Queen of Wands in with this toxic type of energy. Now, the Queen of Wands, it comes out in the read. All readers have a way of reading their energy. Whenever this spell work comes up for me, oftentimes it's a Queen of Wands. As a reader, for me, it's just like different cards. For me as a reader, it signifies specific signs sometimes. I don't want to, because I, I read a comment the other day where someone was like, well, what did Aaliyah do to you? I didn't appreciate the person that left the comment at all, the way that they, their tone and the messaging and what they said. But I, I don't have anything against any sign, okay? There's good, bad, evil, and ugly to everything. This Queen of Wands pops out every single reading when it comes to the third party and in tarot typically the queen of wands does represent a third party energy someone who she, she's a fire queen she's a powerful manifester queen of wands usually someone who is very very um sexy seductive okay very ambitious it's not a, a negative thing but this typically it represents you have the queen of wands to the devil and the seven of cups this is a third party this is someone who has tempted a person out of most likely a spiritually based connection that, that, that was put together by the divine. Somebody came in, in the middle of this and they did that on purpose. 
I feel like someone had the intentions to do this and there is a feminine or a masculine. Now I'm picking up more so a masculine who is now seeing, especially with this full moon energy, that they got themselves, that they walk themselves right into a trap. And there's a lot of disappointment now with the five of pentacles because someone is for sure realizing that all that glitters is not gold. Whoever this, this temptress or this seductress is here that lured somebody in using money or whatever it was because they wanted to win by any means necessary to ensure that someone missed out on an opportunity. Someone is thinking about this heavily. And someone is now seeing the truth. I feel like if you're not dealing with this person, they're with another person right now and they're realizing that they absolutely made the wrong decision. It's one thing to think it. This person is receiving confirmation that their cycle, all opportunities and bets with you are off because they allowed this other energy to come in. It's a very strong, intense energy. And you may be feeling this strong because this person is up all day, all night, thinking about what they have done and what they didn't do when it came to them taking action to be in this partnership or connection with you. It's haunting this person because things with the other person may not necessarily be going well. And they see now that they have been completely defeated. There's nothing that they can do to most likely come back into your energy. But what they're doing to, to I'm going to say they can't come back into your life. So what they're doing now is they're doing everything to get into your energy. This person, it does come off as very sinister and wicked. Okay, now everyone doesn't know that because they're thinking about you constantly that it's going to affect you. But I feel like this is a person who most likely knows you very well. They know that you're an empath. They're doing this on purpose to trigger you. Maybe in hopes that it'll make you call them, reach out to them, have pity on them some type of way. I don't think that you really care about the situation here. Yeah, this person is juggling here. There's a lot of instability, a lot of endings here. But this person, they now are seeing the truth about how they've been tricked out of their spot with you, most likely. There's a lot of deception and betrayal here. This is all being revealed. Somebody here is seeing that because they were so adamant about juggling you instead of them eight of pentacles mastering themselves that now they're experiencing a lot of endings this person look at the, there's your empath right there the queen of cups this person here is they're being drugged out by spirit right now because of what they did to this queen of cups queen of cups is someone who's very nurturing very kind you know an empath very intuitive has a very mothering type of nature. Now, Queen of Cups can also be a drama queen, emotionally manipulative. Since I'm not, because again, I don't have favors when it comes to signs or elements. But the Queen of Cups is typically a mature woman who is extremely nurturing. It's a water sign. Someone betrayed this Queen of Cups person, which Queen of Cups is it's a, it's this is a card. It could be any any sign. The Queen of Cups can be a Leo. It can be anybody. Somebody betrayed their good thing for a, a tempter, someone that has seduced them. Come to them with a get rich quick scheme plan, whatever it is. They took a risk with this person. And I feel like, yeah, they acted too quickly by taking this risk with somebody else. And it has cheated them out of all opportunities with you someone is feeling the heat they're feeling the pain right now and they're seeing that they walk themselves into a trap that they i don't think this person can get out of this trap it's it's destroying them on the inside yeah the magician here this person could be like i said definitely doing some type of i feel manipulation this person was manipulated though because the, the magician is falling right underneath the devil. Something, this, this person, and here's the queen of wands. This person has been manipulated through magic of some, some kind. Somebody here was doing fire magic, sex magic, perhaps all of the above. Love spells or something. Somebody fell for, for a trick here. But I feel like they tried to trick this queen of cups. And this was their karma. 
the judgment card is here. This person is receiving some serious karma right now. But again, you guys, I want you to be very, very careful. You could be far removed from whatever this situation is. You could be dealing with someone new. This energy is so intense that you will think this is happening right now to you. It's not. If you know you don't want to deal with this person, acknowledge the thoughts, the feelings, emotions, and please keep pushing. Because this person right now could have gotten themselves into this situation because they were playing around with magic or dealing with somebody else who was playing Right now, the energy, any, any type of magic or manipulation that has been done against you is backfiring. These people are trying to come up with a spell for a spell for a spell. And it's not working. The, the tower. What did I just say? The spell work, the manipulation, the illusions, everything is backfiring. You have clarity, but you're also free from this situation. This is why I'm saying this is why this, this message seems very urgent to me. You're free to go into the arms of someone who really loves you. Some of you, you maybe you're connecting with this person if they've changed. But for some of you, this is someone brand new. And look at this. Behind the two of cups is the lovers. Some of you, whatever this is, it was meant to happen. You need to thank God and, and, and count all of your lucky stars. You had to encounter this devil to really learn the importance of you being strong and resilient. This was a catalyst for you. You and someone were a catalyst for one another. And I've been saying this for a long time and I don't have anything against people who feel like, you know, they're with their twin flame. My views on that is different, but I feel that some of you are finally meeting your true divine counterpart, possibly a twin flame, high level soulmate, someone here who is going to give you equal give and take. And it was always written and destined to be that way. And, and they, they comfort you. They take care of you. They're there for you. They don't have to completely break you down for there to be any type of abundance. Some of you, you have the real deal either in your life or coming into your life. You need to get through whatever this attack is. You're being attacked right now in your mind with your thoughts about this past situation because somebody is feeling the heat of what they did to you. This person, for some of you, especially like if you're in a new connection or someone just knows that you're trying to be open to love, what has happened is this magic and manipulation, it has backfired. Somebody took a risk, a leap of faith. They, 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 they quickly did something thinking that they had the tools, the resources, and the knowledge to cause a tower moment in your life. And what it did is it pushed you completely away and you had a divine protector that came in and made sure that you were able to see the, the whole truth about a situation. And it actually it pushed you now into the arms of the real deal, like your forever person. If this, again, it doesn't have to be a relationship for some of you, but this situation now it's over. It's done. It's ending. You're going to go into a brand new journey, something that was written. It's you tapping into your actual birthright, your true life force, because you did the work to master yourself with the eight of pentacles and somebody else. They did. They felt like it was too hard. They didn't want to put the time in seven of pentacles. This person, they lacked patience. They wanted something to happen quickly. But this person is holding on to you for dear life. And I feel like when it comes to a third party, they have a third party that's holding on to them. So some of you need to be very, need to be mindful of this person. They're stuck in bounds somewhere else, but this person, they're, they're trying to bind you. This person is trying to tap into your energy in a major way. And, and for a lot of you, it's because they know that you have something new either in your life or coming into your life. Somebody is trying to do everything right now to make sure that they can be just in your energy. And this is very weird to me because I don't see, there's not many wands out here. This person isn't taking action towards you. Like they're not presenting themselves to you. This person is, I, I feel psychically attacking you. This is a psychic attack. Like this person is trying to get into your energy 
or this person has done spell work or paid for spell work and it's really backfiring. This person is doing spell work to cloak themselves or to hide themselves or a situation and it walked them right into a trap and it walked you completely out of this illusion. So thank them. <laughs> wow, I think that's a star. I don't know. The sun and the queen of pentacles. Okay. The sun, the queen of pentacles. You got it. I feel like this is your golden ticket. I feel like you got the, the missing piece. You have something tangible here. And here we have that ace of pentacles. Why? Because you graduated. You leveled up here. All right. You were at a crossroads for a long time. When it came to this king of wands person. This king of wands is battling demons right now. And they're very, very stressed out. They're losing sleep. This person is haunted by you because you are extremely single, self-sufficient, abundant, beautiful. You're taking care of business on your own. You're the ideal love choice for this person or for anyone. And there could be competition for you now. You actually have options with, with more than one person. Somebody is sick because they know for a sure fact that they've been defeated. Okay? This person did something to you to try to win you. Okay, I feel like they've done this more than once and it destroyed the... Oh my gosh, look at this. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. See, if I have a... Like, I, it was, I wouldn't say I had a dream and I saw this deck, but it was a vision and I literally just got up and started recording this. This was the message that we needed to hear. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has tried to put blockages in your life and I'm telling you, the way that this situation has backfired... It has pushed you into the ultimate wish fulfillment and abundance. Some of you are about to see like huge drastic improvements in your health, your wealth, like your finances, your security, your stability. You're like leveling completely up with the world card here. Yeah, because this person, they, I feel like this person sent some type of signal out to you. Because they were upset, nine of ones. This person is wounded. They're upset. They sent something out to you or they paid. They could have paid top dollar to send something out to you. And your ancestors came in and was like, oh, no, no, no. They saw exactly what this person did. They moved you on a peaceful, calm of waters because you're the star. You are a healer. And it's time for you to go towards your destiny. Now, keep in mind, this person is coming out as the king of wands. Very aggressive. The king of wands and then we have the queen of wands. This person is in a connection with somebody else. And they are upset. Why? Because you have the king of pentacles coming. The king of pentacles is the person here that's bringing you the ace of pentacles. The lovers, the two of cups. You are a match for this person. Okay? And then I've talked about, and here we have the king of cups. Somebody here is crying because I feel like... In the past, when you met this person, you were the queen of cups. You could have been caring, sweet, kind, and empath. This person could be very narcissistic. You could have been a little naive, gullible. Maybe you met this person when you were younger. They hurt you. They deceived you. They betrayed you and all of that and the above. This person, they did have feelings for you, but they refused to show that they had feelings for you. This person is crying a river now. You now, act. they, they, they got stuck. And confused, really they didn't, that they made a choice to go towards this queen of wands. Now, this queen of wands, they have the energy of this queen of wands on them. Very toxic, very low vibrational. They keep trying to take action towards you as a king of wands. They're very aggressive, okay? But see, now who you are, you're the queen of pentacles. You're a match for the king of pentacles. You're going towards somebody now that brings security and stability. Something here that was actually divinely written and guided for you. It's an equal give and take type of situation. Now, for some of you, this is a person from the past coming back. I, I'm not here to bash signs, elements, or say you can't be with someone from the past. Everyone deserves grace and mercy. Some people from the past, they do change. It could be a new person in your life that's sabotaging your life. It's energy. You take it however it resonates. A lot of you, this is a past person, though. Not to say that you can't connect with someone from the past, but a lot of you, and I've been saying this for a while, you're connecting with a person from a past life of yours. Someone new, but they seem so familiar. It's like 
you're connected with someone that you've been married to. They understand the assignment with you now. You haven't been with them in this lifetime, but they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Many of you have been building connections in the 5D the entire time you've been dealing with these karmic situations. When you meet this person, if you haven't met them already, it's going to move fast. Because everything that you've been learning and evolving into, it was preparing you to have like this kingdom type of... This is someone with, an, I always say, empire state of mind, kingdom kingdom like business here you have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you're already stable or this person is or both of you are okay or even if you both are not necessarily stable when it comes to financially you're rich in spirit you and someone are rich in spirit and therefore you're you you will always have tangible assets and abundance because of who you are spiritually and who you are to god whoever this person was from the past they're realizing now that resources, everything in their life is drying up. And a part of that is because if this person is doing all of this heavy manipulation and all these different attacks, this person has been like doing something with you energetically. They've been stealing your energy to build for themselves and possibly with this other person. And I feel like they both were doing this together. These people, they knew something about you energetically. Or some, I, I have readings about the people knowing your natal chart or you having certain gifts or abilities for you to manifest. For, for some of you, you can manifest wealth easily. This person, they want to be in your energy because I feel like right now, the four of pentacles, they could be struggling financially. This is heartbreaking to this person. They're struggling financially because they didn't want to put, see, they built things quickly, most likely with this other person, but it's falling because it was built on a, a faulty foundation. They didn't want to put the work in to make sure that there was a solid foundation with you. They went to this person that tempted them. And this was about money. Oh, we can hurt, we can get money quickly. And they did it. I feel like this person though, they get money with this person and they lose it. It's always a get rich quick scheme or scam or something. I don't feel like they look like the type of people who are scammers. I don't. They look well put together, but on paper, mm -mm. <laughs> it's not a good situation. And this person right now, like I said, they're crying a river now because they know you're not interested in any apologies. I don't think you're mad at this person. But there is no way that they can come back into your life. They're bound to this other person. And they're also bound to the devil. For what they've done. This person, they're getting nothing but karma. And this person, they know for a sure fact that the karma that they're getting is because of what they did to you in the past. The partnerships that they decided to invest in instead of you in the past is the reason why they're going through what they're, they're going through. And I'm going to tell you how they know. They know because you're the nine of pentacles. It's very easy to tell. And if somebody is doing spell work or, or any kind of bad juju or something like that on you, if you're steady leveling up, then that, that lets them know that that's going to come back to them. So if they're dealing with issues in their life, they know it's a direct response and reflection of what they've done to you. What they're getting is a projection of what they've put out to you and to other people. You can't save this person. I, I feel like you have something really, really great coming in. And this this is three. This is something, like I said, you can see it. You can touch it. You can feel it. These are pentacles. This person, they're not, there's no wands. They're not making moves. You have something coming in, though. You can build it. It has already been built for you. All you have to do is accept it. Like I said, you're the golden ticket. It's like your ancestors, like we're taking you on a peaceful, calm waters. You have a person that's going to make you an offer. You can see it. Somebody's building up something and they're offering it to you. You can see it. You can, you know, assess and evaluate the situation to see that, okay, this is this is the real deal. This is what I pray for. This, this is something that comes in and it enhances me. The, whoever this person is and your energy they're they're not bringing they they take from you because they made 
a really bad investment when they thought they could get over on you. Temperance. Someone was either very like unstable when they were doing this, but the temperance, I want to clarify this. Ace of Wands. And here's a Four of Wands. Wow. And the Ace of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. You're protected. I wanted to see if their temperance, if it was something positive. It's extremely positive. Because I'm like, is this just somebody playing around with energy in the background? No. You have a temperance angel. There's an earth angel here. This could be you. But you have a brand new passionate beginning here full of love, abundance, celebrations, new house, new car, new job, new relationships, friendships, fellowship. It's all protected here because you love yourself. You've loved other people despite what they've done to you. Okay, this temperance angel is coming in, making sure that you have justice. This is also the energy of yin and yang. Feminine and masculine energy, you, you're balanced out. You have a lot of peace and harmony coming into your life. This situation that you have in your life or coming into your life, it's beautiful. It's amazing. This person here has been very angry and upset and bitter, and they are projecting energy towards you because they're fighting demons. This is the kind of energy that will keep you stuck at a crossroads where you cannot move forward. I feel like whenever this King of Pentacles type of energy presents itself to you, some of you have a lot of issues if this is a relationship with dating someone new because this person they may know that you're you you have some type of gifts or they're paying for a lot of spell work. They're doing something to you mentally to make like the thoughts of them haunt haunt you. They're haunted by the memories of you. So they're projecting that onto you or they want you to constantly think about them. So you guys may find that every single time like you're trying to go into a new connection, all of a sudden you're thinking about this past person. And I don't think that it's good memories, really. This person thinks that if you think about them constantly, that you're going to reach out to them or try to reconcile or have a, this person. They're trying to lure you. In. They just want to be able to talk to you so that they can, you know, they can tell you some kind of lie or justify themselves in some way. This person is like desperate for your energy. But this person, there's a lot of secrets of what this person has done. You helped this person. You could have helped this, this. You were supposed to. I think you did your part. Like you were there when this person should have become more enlightened during a time. And I feel like maybe when you dealt with this person, they could have been in some kind of jam or bind or you could have been. There was something that was imbalanced between the two of you, but the two of you could have helped one another. You were sent into each other's lives. You could have helped one another. They were not. They didn't want that. They rejected the offer here. Okay. They didn't want it. I feel like you were like, I'll help you. This person, maybe they weren't on their, on their feet when you met them or you weren't. Somebody here could have been struggling with something. And they said, I can do this quicker. So they went to somebody else that they felt they could get some type of victory, success, rewards, or recognition with. They wanted to take the fast right route, and that's what they got. Something fast, but just as quickly as this was built up. It was built on a faulty foundation. Anything built on a lie is sure to fall. The, the situation that they built so quickly that they thought was going to take them, I guess, to the promised land is crumbling now. This situation, it has, it's like a new house. The, it's, it's settling now. The, the, the cracks are happening. It wasn't built on, a, on on the best foundation. Now they're looking back and they're angry. They're angry because you're not stuck at a crossroads. They're angry because you're winning in life. And the people who are entering your life, they add to you. This person, they can't add anything to your life even if they wanted to. And I feel that for some of you, this is someone who had, they had the material things. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. What they had, what they left you to acquire, they're losing that. And you have that and more. Much more coming. If you feel like you don't have it, it's coming. Because they have to release you and your energy for you to go towards your own destiny. They're holding on to your... Look at that. They have to. It's an ending here 
for you to finally have your promised beginning. This person is mad. Yeah. They're extremely pissed off now. The Four of Swords. <laughs> this person is having a difficult time resting. I feel like this person, I'm seeing an image like this person, whoever they're currently with, they're laying awake all day, all night, meditating, contemplating, thinking about you and the other person. It's like, well, what's going on? This person is probably so cold and bitter at home with somebody. Because justice is the high priestess is going to have the ultimate wish fulfillment. You won. You won, high priestess. High priest, divine, feminine, masculine, you won. There's nothing that this person can do, and they see that. Somebody here is just like, man, I have been completely defeated. They know this. <laughs> I mean, there's, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Like, somebody, they just know that this is over. And it's like they're having some kind of temper tantrum about it now. And it, it's like, it doesn't even matter. Honestly. People gotta stop waking me up out of my sleep for this foolishness. <laughs> Hold on. This side. Let's say get a different deck. Wait a minute. I don't really know if I want to use these cards, but Spirit said I use the other cards. So at the bottom of this deck is a message of concern. <laughs> message of concern with sudden wealth. Imprisonment and thief and coffin. It's over. This person has been stealing. You're getting us a, a message of concern. Okay, mate. Okay. The message of concern. Yeah, unexpected income. Unexpected income, mature man, and marriage. Journey, gift, great fortune. Wow. Main male thoughts. With this woman on, on his brain. Somebody here to man, I'm telling you, they think about you. When they think of you, they think of money and, and wealth. This per, I don't know what, what this is, but this person, they've manifested so much wealth by being connected to you. And, and playing games with you. I think the reading I did yesterday, I kept saying how my crown chakra was tingling so bad. And it only happened in that reading. There was a very long, detailed reading, though, about a masculine doing a lot of love spells and trying to trap a divine feminine and trying to present themselves as new. Divine feminine has a divine protector. Could be a new divine masculine, an ancestor guy, whomever. But somebody is shielding you from... Everything that this this person here is not going to be able to touch you. First of all, I feel if they have any kind of spiritual gifts or whoever they they've used to do spell work on you, something here is coming to a complete end. Or you just grown and ascended so so high, your frequency, your vibration so high now. This person that I'm telling you, they this person meditates on you is what I'm getting. I don't know what that is. This person they meditate on you constantly though. They want you, they they want to be the main person that you think of. This I'm telling you, this person, this is what they do. This person has mastered some, some way of projecting energy. They want you to see them as the main male. But this person, they constantly think of you because they feel like they need to be connected to you so that they don't, they're not in poverty. This person has like a, they're, they fear being in poverty. So they steal your, and they steal your energy, your time, your effort, your energy. This is coming to an end though. This person is going to be like in spiritual jail. They're, they're not, nothing that they do is going to work against you. This is coming to a complete end. So whatever they have acquired from meditating on you and sending you all this new, this bad energy, they're they're about to be left completely out in the cold. And they're going to be persecuted to the fullest extent of spiritual law for everything that they've done. They owe you. They owe you a lot. So for some of you, this is the reason why now you, you're going to be looking at your bank account like, where is this money coming from? It's because this person, your energy is yours, unexpected income. You're, you're receiving money from 
different sources and places. And for some of you, you're going to be receiving money because of some kind of partnership that's coming in. You and the person that is going to enter your life or who is in your life currently, you and this person are going on a journey together where you are, you're a gift to one another. You're going on some type of journey together and it's blessed. Like I said, for a lot of you, it, this is like, you know, people refer to kingdom marriages. You and someone here, it was written from the beginning of time. You're coming together. This person's coming in to, like, to, I don't want to say to save you, but, like, you're connecting. It's like a past life love that is, you and this, you're going to be connected to somebody you were married to in a past life. I do feel that strongly. Or you were supposed to marry someone in a past life. Maybe you were supposed to marry this person in a past life. But whoever it is in your past that's trying to come back and destroy your life now. They could have gotten in between you and your true person in a past life. I feel like now that's why some of you, you have so much protection. Because in a past life, whoever this toxic lover or ex of yours is, they've always been a blockage to you. This is a very toxic past life karmic soulmate and some of you you may refer to this person as a twin flame i don't pick up twin flame energy i get more of like a past life karmic soulmate they you were with them in a past life and they sabotage you sacrifice you and they're trying to do it again in this life it's not gonna happen this time though friend is here conversation You may have a friend to tell you about something happening with this person, how they're losing all hope and faith. <laughs> yeah, you have gift here. Love. You're receiving a gift of love. You're going on a very beautiful journey. Like I said, be thankful. Had you not gone through this, um, it's interesting because I was just listening to a sermon And that, that was kind of like the part of the message. This was recently. Had you not had to encounter that devil, you probably wouldn't have ever fallen on your knees to ask God to deliver you from whatever this is. You never would have realized how important it was for you to break these hexes and curses off of you and your family or, you know, your future spouse or whomever. Had you not encountered this, these things that you go through that are dark and disappointing, it makes you strong. Nobody wants to deal with the the disharmony or the discomfort or the disappointment. But honestly, it's true. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And those who fight the good fight, they are rewarded. All I know is, you know, in this situation, you have something so beautiful. Do not allow this past energy, spell work, psychic attack, moon magic, rituals, whatever this is, affect you. Somebody is trying to call your energy in and they do this all the time. Making you think about them. This person, what they want to do is almost project like guilt onto you so that you will break down and you will text them or call them. And this person is very, very slick and sly in how they do this because they don't want to be the ones to reach out to you. But I don't think this person will, like there is no risk for the wicked. This person will never get to rest at night for what they've done to you. And instead of them contacting you and saying that they are sorry, for some of you, like I said, this doesn't have to be love. This could be an old friend. This could be a family member, a sibling. It could be a parent that, that you know, didn't do something right by you. This could be anybody. It could be an old business partner. The majority, this is a, a partnership with somebody from your past. But this person is, is struggling. It doesn't matter what they do. They, they constantly put on a facade like everything is okay. This person is, is feeling destroyed on the inside because they've been defeated. And this person, this this is a tactic that they use. They've been doing this to you for a long time. Stealing your energy, trying to call you back in to get you, you know, 
trapped with them energetically. And I think that it's very intense for some of you now because the, the room card is here. You've made room for a house. You've made room now for more security and stability in your life because you've, you've been working to purge this energy out. This person, for a lot of you too, with this nine of pentacles, they already know that anything and everything that you are a magnet for a king of pentacles, ten of pentacles. They, this person, they just know that they, they're not a match for you. They know that it's killing this person. For some of you, this person, they're wealthy, but like I said, the way that they've earned their money is through them stealing. So now they don't even have the money to make them look good. They want your, they would like to have your love, but this person really wants your energy and whatever you offer financially to them. And I don't think that you want anything to do with this person. Because you know what they're doing. If you don't know, now you know. This person knows that without access to you, they, they know they're going... It's jail or hell, poverty, all of that. This person is going through karma. And it's heavy karma. I mean, really heavy. Because they've done this to several people. It's it, Everything that this person has ever done is catching up to them. But they are especially paying for what they did to you. I'm going to pull a few of these cards and I want to close out. This, I mean, I was asleep when I got this message. I got up. But I feel so drained. This energy is very draining. You guys right now, too, Mercury Retrograde, you may be feeling a little bit tired. Um, just things are kind of moving backwards. And the 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 constant thinking and reflecting, it, it energetically drains you. But rest and rejuvenate. Don't allow yourself to be stressed. Take the time out to take a nap rest rest your because a lot of you your your spirits spiritual team they're forcing you to rest okay because you're being prepared for all of this abundance that's coming in anyway you want to be in the right mind and and be the right way spiritually energetically and emotionally prepared for the abundance that's coming into your life so if you feel like you want to take a break if you feel like you want to stay home or take a nap or whatever, do it. I mean, I took a nap and then I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning because this woke me up. But I'm just saying, take this time to rest. Don't take this a time. Don't lose time stressing about old situations that are over and done with. Somebody is trying to tap into your energy so they can keep a cycle open with you. See, these are, this is the first full moon. These people thought that, you know, after last year, they were going to keep on holding on to your energy. And this new year, it's not happening. Intimidated. This person is intimidated by you. I told you because they've been defeated. <laughs> this person, they're like, I don't understand. Nothing they've done has worked. Sharp tongue. This says this person has no filter. They they're, um, tend to say things that are very critical about other people. A distorted masculine. Mm-hmm. It says everything the person in this situation may own and claim is theirs, money, possessions, their own self-worth. Wow. So this distorted masculine who probably talked really bad about other people had no, no filter. This person has abused their power. They've been forceful. Okay. I feel very jealous hearted, egotistical. You know, unable to, to say anything nice or good about other people. This person is intimidated by you, though, because they couldn't break you down. So now, when it comes to their possessions and their self-worth, everything is being questioned. Because I'm going to tell you, this person always hid behind money. It was something that they've hidden behind. They hid behind money. They hid behind um, certain people who looked a certain way or something. They're being stripped of everything now. If this is the kind of person, you know, they, they want the the best looking person or, you know, just very superficial, they don't have anything now. When you take away the wealth, the money or whatever, you know, or, or when they're in jail or whatever, it's like there's no, they, they have nothing. And to see you have everything while they have nothing right now, it's destroying them. 
divorce. Yeah. I feel like I had a, I'm seeing in my head right now, I had a reading where I said, you've, you've been granted a spiritual divorce from this person. This is a broken relationship. It's a connection that's, it's over. It's done. You've severed ties with this person. Yeah. You find this person irresponsible and you're very intelligent. This person, they don't want to be accountable for anything. They're very careless. They don't care about the consequences of any of their actions. And you cannot trust this person. You can't depend on them. Okay. And they don't understand, but they're upset because you decided to play chess and not checkers with this person. You knew this person was a distorted masculine. And I feel like you prayed this demon off of you. You asked God, like, get, let, get me out of this. I don't know how you got into this situation. <laughs> How you got into this situation with this person? But I feel like somebody was like on their knees, like praying, God, get me out of this. Whatever past life situation this is, you, you asked to get out of it. And I feel like you were granted that spiritual divorce from this person. And they're like, how? Like, why are you releasing me? Copying your style. Yeah, this person, they like everything about you. And you're so chill. You're chill. They're daydreaming. It says daydreaming about you. This person daydreams constantly about being married to you because they see that you're so comfortable. You want the most for yourself and out of life and you, you get it with ease because you're just in alignment. This person is also mad. Oh my goodness. This What makes this person really, really upset is that you do so well without them. It's confirming that they were they were the problem. You know how some people like you you you'll never do better than me. It's like duh, that's the whole. Or people say you know you'll never find anybody like me. It's like well, that's the whole point because this person, <laughs> you don't do well with this person. I think that for some of you, you're noticing or you've noticed for quite some time in your life that whenever you don't deal with this person, you you you're at peace. You make more money. You're happy. You're passionate. This person they come into your life like a wrecking ball. They just every time they come around, you like. Ugh, it's karmic. You you have problems with your money, mental health, everything. And this person is upset because your life is proof that with the type of the peace and the balance and harmony in your life, you being the nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and for some of you, whoever you're leveling up with in a relationship, they're like, oh, wow, I really was a problem. This person is intimidated because most likely when you told them in the past, like, hey, you know, you should you should work on, on your wayward ways or whatever they thought you were crazy they didn't want to hear any of the warnings that you gave them yeah look at this earth angel and groupie they wanted a groupie they didn't want a um earth angel now they're jealous though because you're in a high vibing energy this person is wearing a poker face right now but they're watching you they're stalking you and they're extremely sad they probably cry themselves to sleep at night Yeah, it says fourth house and tenth house is here. This situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, social class. Yeah, and your tenth house right now is on fire because you you you're gonna have everything as an earth angel. And fourth house here, this person, their sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, everything is cursed. Their housing, their comfort, everything in their life is cursed right now. They're mad because you don't have any limitations on your life. You have good and pure, you know, energy, good intentions. So you're rewarded for that. They did it. They're jealous hearted. And just to put this out there, if this isn't some, the person that you were connected to, it's the person that they're with feeling this way about you. But I just feel like, to be honest, with the energies that I've been seeing lately, the people that some of the past people decided to connect with, the type of drama that the person that they connected with has created for your life and will continue to create, it's like that's all the more reason to never deal with you. It, it, because of, like, the, the, the bond, the... 
they're they're bound to situations now all because of who they decided to invest in at some point. You know, it's like now to try to build a business or blend families with these people. Now that they've gotten married to these karmic energies, it's just like it, all I see is is a lot of doom and gloom. I'm not saying you can't make it work with some of these people, but I mean they have to have truly healed. Some of these people, it's like that's their karma. Karma for them is who they end up with. They should have been more careful with you.